From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Cancer is a type of disease where cells grow out of control, divide and invade other tissues. With cancer, the normal process of cell division goes out of control. Cells change their nature because mutations have occurred in their genes. All the daughter cells of cancer cells are also cancerous. Let us get to know about prostate cancer. Signs and symptoms of prostate cancer A need to urinate frequently, especially at night. Blood in the urine, erectile dysfunction, pain in the hips, spine, ribs or other areas from cancer spread to bones. Weakness or numbness in the legs or feet. Loss of bladder or bowel control. Difficulty starting urination or holding back urine. Interrupted flow of urine. Burning urination, feeling that your bladder has not emptied fully. Causes of prostate cancer Age Prostate cancer risk goes up as men get older and much more common after the age of 50. Race In the US, African American men are likely to get prostate cancer and die of it than in men of other races. Geography Prostate cancer is most common in North America, Northwestern Europe, Australia and the Caribbean and it is less common in Asia, Africa and Central and South America. Family history Men with close family members who have had prostate cancer are more likely to get it themselves. Gene changes Some inherited genes seem to raise prostate cancer risk but they account for only a small fraction of cases. Diet Men who eat a lot of red meat or high-fat dairy products seem to have a greater chance of getting prostate cancer. Obesity Some studies have found that obese men may be at greater risk for having more advanced prostate cancer and of dying from prostate cancer, but not all studies have found this. Sexually transmitted diseases Men who have had gonorrhea have a higher chance of developing prostate cancer. Medication. Some studies say there might be a link between the daily use of anti-inflammatory medicines and prostate cancer risk. Some other possible risk factors include smoking, being a firefighter, prostatitis, certain sexually transmitted infections, having a vasectomy. Diagnosis. PSA test. PSA is a type of protein released by prostate tissue that is found in higher levels in a man's blood. Levels can be raised when there is abnormal activity in the prostate, including prostate cancer. Transrectal ultrasound. For this test, a small probe is placed in your rectum. The probe gives off sound waves that enter the prostate and create echoes. A computer turns echoes into a black and white image of your prostate. Prostate biopsy. A biopsy is a procedure in which small samples of the prostate are removed and then looked at under a microscope. It includes lymph node biopsy as a separate procedure, laparoscopic biopsy, fine needle aspiration. DRE. A doctor uses the DRE test to find abnormal parts of the prostate by feeling the area using a finger. Computed tomography or CT scan. A CT scan creates a three-dimensional picture of the inside of the body with an X-ray machine. Magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. MRI scans can give a very clear picture of the prostate and show if the cancer has spread outside the prostate into the seminal vesicles or other nearby structures. Grade of prostate cancer Prostate cancers are graded according to the Gleason system. This system assigns a Gleason grade based on how much the cancer looks like normal prostate tissue. If the cancer looks a lot like normal prostate tissue, a grade of 1 is assigned. If the cancer looks very abnormal, it is given a grade of 5. Grades 2 through 4 have features in between these extremes. Thanks for watching. This is your host Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.